Today we're gonna to learn how to run database seeds with Node.js and we're gonna use SQLize as the ORM. So let's get started. Hey guys, it's Corozum here and this is the part 11 of the series building a REST API with Node.js and MySQL. So if you are new here, make sure to subscribe and stay with the channel to follow the rest of the series. And some really cool stuff is on the way, some new courses and videos, so make sure to subscribe and stay with the channel. Alright, normally we use database seeds to insert some large set of data, some bulk set of data uh, to a database uh, in a single operation. For example, if you want to insert some default data to a project uh, when it is deployed and for example some default users or some default categories or things like that. In order to use seeds, we're gonna have to use some ORM. So we're gonna use SQLize in this video. So if you've been following this course from the beginning, we have done so much with SQLize so far. We have connected to database, we ran migrations and we implemented CRUD and so much. So if you are interested, the links are in the description down below. Alright, so with SQLize today we're gonna insert some data to the categories table. So if you've been following this video series, we completed post module, uh, comments module and user module. And uh, as you noticed, uh, for creating post uh, in the post payload, as you can see, there is a field called category ID. But we don't have categories yet. But we do have a model uh, called category and also we have a table for categories as well. So now it's time to insert some data to this category table because we need categories to create a post. Just for now we just we insert the category ID, a dummy ID for creating the post but uh, we should we should have a category ID in order to create a post successfully. Alright so now you know the practical use case of database seeds and let's create a seed and insert some data to the categories table. Alright so to install SQLize on your system you just need to run this command npm install dash dash save and package name SQLize just like this and once you install it you can initialize SQLize uh, using SQLize in it with this command. Alright, so we have already done those two uh, steps. We have already installed and configured SQLize on our system. We just need to create the seeders file. Alright, to create a seed file, you just need to run this command SQLize seed generate and the name option i'm gonna name this seed since we are using this seed to populate category table so i'm gonna name this seed category seed all right hit enter and this will create a new file new seed file inside your seeders directory let's open that file up and Let's take a quick look at what's inside. Here we have two functions, uh, up and down. And this up method is the one that getting called when you run the seed. And this down method is the one that is getting called when you undo the seed. All right, just like migrations. Uh, in the up function, I have to write some code to insert uh, categories to the categories table all right for that i'm going to write some function return and here we have a, a parameter called query interface i'm going to use that parameter and in that parameter object we have a method uh, called bulk insert so with this function we can insert a bulk of data to a uh, table as we want Alright, so the table name is categories and then the, the records, the data we want to uh, insert to the table. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna create an object and 
let me show you the table structure of my table here in categories table we just have uh, these four columns id name created and updated it so here we just need to uh, insert some data to the name field these other values will be auto populated all right so um here so we have the name column so i'm gonna have a key with name and then the value i want i'm gonna enter the first category i want as uh, not js i don't know you can use any data you want maybe view js and i'm just copy these values few times and react js and finally let's use something called um flutter all right so these are the categories i want to enter to my categories tables so the posts can be created with these categories all right so this is for inserting the um categories now i i need to write some function to delete the categories for that uh, i'm gonna write return here i'm gonna use this uh, query interface object and here we have a method called bulk delete let me correct this type of bulk delete all right uh, here uh, as the first uh, argument i'm going to pass the categories the table name categories and as the second parameter we can pass some options to filter out some data but here i'm just keep this empty and as the third parameter i have to pass null uh, you can check uh, sqlized documentation so this is what they instruct to do all right so this seed file is complete we have a few categories and now let's run this seed file and let's see we can insert data to run the seed i'm gonna type sqlize db seed if you want to run all the seeds at once we can type this uh, all keyword and if you just need to run one specific seed file you just need to enter it like this seed then the seed file name i'm gonna copy this um, file path and i just have to remove this and this hit enter so it will run the seed all right so as you can see in our table we have successfully inserted our categories to the categories table all right and if you think you made a mistake you can always undo a seed uh, to undo a seed you can write sqlize db seed undo with this command you can undo the most recent seed you just you just did and if you want to undo all the seeds you can use this all keyword just like this and if you need to undo a specific seed file you just need to use this seed option then the seed name let me just copy this seed name and just like this then you can use this command to undo a specific seed just like this all right let me run this seed again since we need categories in our table all right all right we have categories back in our database all right so that's pretty much it for the seeders functionality let me close this terminal and let me open up this post controller now we can insert a legal category id here in our request as the category id but we need to validate that before saving it to the database we need to check if this category id is a valid id 
before saving this post. Alright, so let's implement that really quick. I'm gonna use the category model models dot category and here we have a method called find by pk so we can find a record using its primary key here so as the argument of this function i'm gonna pass the category id in the request body just like this so this function returns a promise and then I have to use this then keyword. So I'm gonna pass an anonymous function here, just like this. So if this function returns a successful promise, then I can get that result here in this anonymous function. So if this result is not null, then which means that this category id actually represent a valid category in the categories table so we can run the rest of the code here inside this if block and else which means that category id is not a valid one then we can simply return an error um, i'm going to use 400 because it's a bad request I'm just gonna remove this other key and for the message let's uh, include something that makes sense invalid category all right so that's uh, pretty much it let's test this on our API testing client. I'm gonna open up the terminal and run my Node.js application. npm start. Let's open up the API testing client and send this request, save post request. Um, we get the success response and let's change the category ID to, a, to something that we don't have in the categories table. Now now we get the error message we put all right we can do the same for update method here we can check cat if the category id exists before running this update function i'm just gonna uh, copy this function here here I'm just gonna paste down this update query instead of the save query just like this we can test that too in the update uh, request let me send this request and we get the success response and let me change this to a invalid ID and let's send that again and we get the same error message all right so that's pretty much it for the category now before winding up this video i just need to do little more change uh, with this user id currently we are just hard coding this user id because by the time we implemented this functionality we didn't have any authentication mechanism so we didn't we didn't have any users so we just hard coded user id in this save method here what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna open up our middleware this check code middleware well if you are new to this course uh, what we are doing here is we are checking if the user is authenticated using this middleware we implemented this middleware using uh, this uh, json web token package so basically here we check if the token is a valid token uh, by using this verify method and if it is a valid token then we can decode that token and append that data to the request object so that's the basic functionality of this middleware you can check that video i'll link it uh, in the description down below all right 
so here what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this request object and since we appended those decoded data then i can use this user data key just like this here in this object and the user id since we included our user id inside that token so we can access the user id and the user email as well inside this token so let me test this uh, on our api testing client let's create a post we don't have any errors let's try with the valid category id yes we create a new post with the user id we just used here let me check that in the post table here in the post table let's check for the latest records and this is the latest record we just created and here we have a we have a null user id why is that let me check that again let's uh, console log this and let's see if that we have the key let's send the request again and we get the response and let's oops the actually the key is not just id it's user id it's my mistake let me correct that in the code so the this key should be user id just like this now let's um create another post now we have included the user id correctly in our request all right so now let's do the same for the other methods as well i'm just going to copy this value and in our update method we have a hard-coded user id and in our destroy method let's replace those hard-coded values all right so guys today we learned how to implement database seeds and insert some bulk set of data which is categories to the categories table and also we added some improvements to our api by fixing those hard-coded values all right so i hope you enjoyed this video hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and i'll see you guys very soon in the next video